Hello, hello, hello. So, how are you? How's everything going? Have you guys had a easy time this summer staying amaze balls, or has it been difficult to keep up your amaze ballsness? I'm gonna be trying the latte makeup trend. So come along with me and let's find out if it's a latte um, makeup thing or if maybe it's just neutrals and y'all's is bored. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> We're starting with Clarins Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch. Um, I've compared this before to like um, Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer, I think is what theirs is called. Um, it's just a really great pore blurring, um, mattifying, amazing primer. Okay, so I'm going to put some KVD Good Apple Concealer. Mine is in the shade Light 109. I've been loving this for... I know chaos. I know you don't like the sound of my voice, but I'm sorry. Um, I love this for um, an eye base, and I love it for a concealer. Now we're going to do our KVD, and um, I got through this. I really love it. I, I wear it every day. Um, it's not thick and weird consistency if you are putting it on with a brush or not a brush with a sponge a wet sponge it's actually almost like an airbrushed look and it's definitely still full coverage but what i love about it is that i sweat at work all the time because i work really hard and I'm constantly just running around like a chicken with my head cut off. And I can sweat. And my foundation, it does end up coming off by the end of the day. Because, I mean, I'm sweating buckets. But it doesn't look awful, you know, while it's doing so, you know? I've already hit Mega Pan in the Tarte Under Eye Corrector, but this is an Amazeballs product. And now we're gonna put a little concealer on. I know it seems like a lot of product underneath the eyes, but um, I need it. <laughs> I'm 42, turning 43 in the fall and now we put on the best powder and I've gone through that like crazy too I'm about to try I think the prism libre look look at how I have just eaten this alive in the last I think I've only had it for like three months on the face so we might as well continue this is the coco contour palette from Too Faced I got this from BoxyCharm this is one of the favorites that I've ever one of my favorite things I've ever gotten from BoxyCharm um smells like chocolate it's amazeballs we're gonna warm up this face the Coco Contour and this is the Latte Challenge so I feel like we're in the right direction because I'm gonna smell like a latte okay we're gonna skip blush until after we've done the eyes because I want to see what that looks like before we um, finish latteing it up <laughs> or whatever so I draw the underneath line and the line where I want to put the, where I want to stop 
the brow. Oh, I've got a headache. Up a bit. You know, it may take you a few strokes to figure out where, but look at how light and perfect those little strokes are. And now we take our pencil part of it, which is an awful lot like, um, in my opinion, the benefit product that costs $28. This product to me is the same thing without the brand name. And for me, I don't need the brand name. Okay, yes, you will never find me doing a um, soap brow look or whatever because I don't have any brows. I have to make my brows and sometimes they look a little much. Like, I feel like they look a little much. But with the rest of the latte-ness, maybe not. I'm going to start with a light uh, nude color called Swan. Put that on the... inner corner up and down. I really think it's not going to let me, my eye is not going to let me film. We're going to have to table this and continue it in another video. Then we're going to do the color nude. And this is also Too Faced. This is the Born This Way, the original. I think this is the Born This Way original. Let's look at it. Born This Way, the natural nudes. Absolutely love this palette. I think I got it on sale at, I don't know if this was a Sephora or they had it on BoxyCharm. See, I feel like we already look really neutral. Like, um, we could go and we could say that this is latte. Now we're going to use the color Cocoa over here. Okay, so now I think we're going to go dark for the um, underneath the waterline we're gonna go with the darkest brown brown which is triple it's a uh, this guy and he is dark oh good that's that's fantastic because it's still watering and it's just so hard to get Eyeshadow to stick when your eyes are watering. <laughs> we still latte? Yeah. Okay, and I'm going to show you on the non drippy and gross eye. See the drippy and gross eye? Yeah, I'm just going to move on. <laughs> um, so I've put that uh, deep chocolate color brown, the truffle color. I've put that all under the Eye. Now we're going to blend that out just a little bit using the same small brush with the cocoa shade. I know this is supposed to be more like a trend and not a tutorial, but you know, when you get two for one, you take it. Now we just kind of Blend that brown out. So, am I a latte-esque enough? OK, 
Okay, I've got the brown on this side. This is like an 800 year old um, Estee Lauder pencil in the color soft brown. I know that they've probably reformulated it 200 times by now. I used to have like six of these pencils. They've lasted me so many years. Absolutely love them. Now we're going to go to, I think I found my new favorite neutral lip, especially for fall. So this Persona lip liner I got from BoxyCharm a long time ago. I never opened it because I thought it would be too dark. But today I was looking for like a brown lip liner. For this latte challenge or whatever trend and I found this it is the lip liner in 90210 um, now we're gonna use you guys know that I bought I don't know if you know or not <laughs> so I guess I'll tell you um, along with the foundation, I was looking for this lipstick from KVD that I bought from Sephora when they had it on sale. It is bugging the shit out of me to not have that fixed, but I want to give it a few minutes. So this is in the shade Womankind. I bought like four of them, I think, off the website, three or four. It's just the prettiest color. And with that lip liner, instead of using the much lighter mannequin, I've just taken this nude and gone from summer to fall. Now, the shade Womankind looks more rich, and it definitely looks like it uh, goes in that latte category. Now, today, I picked up this baby. This is Filler Instinct Sparkling Please. I love this. This looks like the Lancome eyeshadow kitten heel it's like that pink with gold reflect but look how it looks on this lip combo we've got that glittery shine that everybody's mad about and these do have an intense uh, an intense filler tingle is what I will call it. But look, we're, we're latteed up on the lips. So I didn't fil finish, <clears throat> I didn't film finishing this up, but I just used, um, this color, which is glistening now, um, all the way on the lid into the inner corner and then I used um, sparkling sable on the outside and I gotta tell you not the hugest fan of how it turned out because I feel like it should have been I think it's just the eye being all wet and causing me all these problems or at least that's what I'm gonna blame it on okay we're gonna use a blush from um, Rose ink this one it's a cream blush it's called heliotrope and I don't think you had to do a brown blush for the Friend. It's just 
latte turned. Oh my gosh, my eye, my poor eye. Just not happy at all. Okay, now we're gonna use the KBD tattoo liner. Oh no, I followed all my steps. I mean, it's just because I'm super, super tired. Anyway, just fold down that. They can't all be winners, can they? Plus, I don't like looking at the neutrals on myself. I've never been one of the people that's like, let me do what everybody else is doing. Now, sometimes I like trends and fashion and what's new and now. Okay, and it is way, 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 way too late to be putting on lashes. So we're just going to use some Lash Princess. And this has as much length and separation as um, the long comb by Finisil's. I think it's good enough to be that and follow subscribe i don't know where you're at um if this is your first video welcome you're a mess we uh do the best we can <laughs> follow along for more cool makeup stuff thank you so much don't forget to be amazeballs and we'll see you on the next one